Do you struggle to find the perfect color blush? Today I want to share with you the one thing that I discovered recently that has changed everything about the colors that I choose. <music> change your blush color lately leave me a comment and let me know no I need to or yes I have I'm Dawn with just doing my best and I hope you'll find me on my website justdoingmybest.com I hope you'll look for me on Instagram and Facebook and say hi where I just like to share tips and ideas and some of my favorite products to help us all look good and feel good where we are right now. If you're like me, I'm not ready to start looking and dressing like my mother, but I'm not trying to look like I'm in college either. I just wanna feel good at this age right now. And for me, that's over 50. And I discovered something just recently about blush and I wanted to share it with you. If you're like me, in our 20s and in our 30s, we were contouring and then using another color on our cheeks, and that was great, or maybe it wasn't and no one told me, I don't know. <laughs> but I recently just decided, you know what? That look is not working for me. When I went over 50, I realized that my face was changing, like my eyes were kind of recessing in and I needed something else. I needed to bring my features forward and I needed a little color in my skin and that was something that I'm losing going over 50. And so I don't know what made me do it, I guess a whim, but one day I picked up a pink blush and the one thing that I have been using is this one is from Thrive Cosmetics and this color is called Rosy. And I'm telling you, it has made a world of difference. I get their brush too and I'll leave a comment so you know which one I'm using. And not every pink is going to be the same for everybody, but I like this Rosy because it's buildable. It doesn't go on bright pink and you're like, oh gosh, I got too much on. You can work with it. So this rosy, I just put it on the apples of my cheeks, blend it in a little bit, and then this is actually too what I use on my brow bone. So I use it all over to give my skin a little lift, to give it a little life. I have found that I look so much healthier now. I'm getting more compliments now on my skin using this color. Like I said, I don't know what it was, but all of a sudden I started looking in the mirror going, okay, I don't know what I'm doing here, but this is not doing me any favors and I needed to make a change. So this pink has made all of the difference. Once I changed my blush color, surprise, my lip color didn't work for me either. <laughs> they didn't coordinate. So I had to go a little bit more pink and my lip color also. Now, the older I get, the thinner my lips look and I'm not a fan of lipstick on me. It really emphasizes the fact that I have thin lips. So I've always liked to go with a gloss. So now my gloss is a little bit more pink and I went ahead and I just got the pink from the Thrive Cosmetics. Again, I'll leave a link for you. This one here is a lot more pink in the bottle than it is on. Trust me, when you put it on, it's very buildable. It's very sheer with just a hint of color. So I am very, very pale. Um, I can't wear the really super bright colors, so this is actually really nice. And between the pink blush and the pink in the uh, lip gloss, it really just gives you life. It, it makes your skin just more alive and more healthy. I hope that that will help you to just take the plunge into a little bit more pink, and I hope that you'll be pleased with that. Leave me a comment and let me know if you're gonna try some pink. Um, I hope that you'll like this video and subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when more videos are available. 
Please share this video with more women who are just like us, and we just wanna look good and feel good where we are right now. Today, I hope that you'll go out and you'll do your best and be blessed. Thank you.